everyone. Thank you for coming to Community Day. We are off of Pine U, and today we're going to show you how to make uh, these little parachutes uh, with a little eraser that you drop. So the parachute contains the actual parachute part, the strings, the paper clip to attach it, and then the little eraser that acts as the person falling with the parachute. Okay, so some of you might have these bags, and if you don't, you can find a lot of these items around your house. So the first part is the little actual parachute. So you can either use a coffee filter, which is this thin little paper right here, or you can use a napkin, um, which is this. <laughs> so you can unfold the napkin and it'll be like this square. So you're not gonna unfold it all the way, just so that it's about this size with the size of a regular napkin. And then you're gonna take a pencil and you're going to poke a hole in each of the corners of the napkin. If you're using a coffee filter, you're going to just poke three holes across the circle. But since I'm using a napkin, I'm gonna poke one in each corner. So you can just take a pencil or a scissor and stick it through and just make a tiny little hole about that size. I'm gonna make another one. Third one. And then a last one. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four pieces of string that are in my bag. If you have a coffee filter, you only need three pieces. If you have a napkin, you can use all four. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the piece of string and you're going to push it through the holes that we just made on our napkin. So once you push that through, you're going to loop it back around and tie a knot to secure the piece of string to the napkin. So once you do that, it should look like this. And we're gonna do that three more times. If the hole you made rips a little more to fit the string in, that's also fine, as long as it doesn't rip to the edge of the napkin. Okay, so that's two down. I'm gonna do two more. Okay, three. If you had a coffee filter, that's your last string, but since I'm using a napkin, I have one more. Okay, so now you should have your little parachute with the string and have all of the long parts hanging down this way. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a little paper clip with the eraser sticking through it. Um, and if you don't have a bag, you can use any household object. And we're going to tie the paper clip to our four strings. So what you're going to do is you're going to push each of the strings through the paper clip. Oops. You're going to push each of the strings through the paper clip so that it looks like this. And we're going to do that with all of them. It can be a little tricky to keep track of the strings, but just make sure that you're holding on to the end that's pushed through and you should be fine. Okay, so now we have all four pushed through. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. And what you're gonna do next is you're going to loop it back around and tie it in the same knot that we use to tie the ends of the strings to the napkin. So I'm gonna push it like this. I'm gonna take a little more string actually. Push it like this and you're gonna loop all four through with a little hole. and you're gonna pull it tightly to secure it. So now when you hold your parachute, your paper clip should be hanging securely. It shouldn't be able to fall out. So this is what it's gonna look like. And Erin is going to show us how 
the parachute falls with different circumstances. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how the parachute falls. So um, at first you can drop it from a, a, like a tall height. And then you can drop it from a shorter height. And it's kind of hard to see, but um, as you can see, the parachute that falls from the taller height falls at a slower uh, speed than the one that falls from a shorter height. You can also change the weight. So what you can do is you can drop it with and without the little eraser on the bottom. Um, and here's dropping it with the eraser. And then I'll take the eraser off. And then dropping it without the eraser. Um, so without the eraser, because there's it weighs less, um, it does fall at a slower speed. So to go into this further, uh, air uh, makes things fall slower, and this is called air resistance. A parachute uses this fact to slow things down as they fall. So what happens is the parachute grabs onto the air as the object is falling. The bigger the parachute, the more air grabs, the slower the object falls. So uh, as Aaron mentioned, we had two different experiments, uh, one at different heights. And as you could see for the ones at different heights, it would fall, it would take more time to fall from the higher height. Now, when you take the weight off of it, uh, it will fall much slower. Heavier weights fall faster because air resistance has less of an effect uh, on heavier objects. And that is why uh, the, when it falls without, with the parachute, without the weight, it will fall a lot slower than when it has the weight. Okay, thank you. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed making your little parachutes with us today. Um, feel free to watch this video again, try it with different materials, different little erasers, little pennies, anything you can find around your house and see how it works differently. Um, but other than that, thank you and happy Engineers Week.